of the same as uh, jumping out everybody. I used to teach a course 30 years ago called Utopia or Oblivion or something like that, based on Buckminster Fuller's work. <clears throat> I think, although I call it, I think, Apocalypse or Enlightenment is what I call it. Not to, his book was called Utopia or Oblivion. And uh, in that, you know, there's the great trends, the population explosion, pollution of the planet, the danger of thermonuclear holocaust, uh, resource depletion, you know, these are all the things everybody knows, you know, d destruction of environment. And uh, those are the big issues. And those are all doable. We can deal with all of them with uh, very easy measures. It's, we don't have to invent some new gimmick to do it. You know, one by one you go down the list and you can easily solve them all. If people would just decide that you can. The great thing that is defeating everybody is everybody is taking the excuse that nothing they do will do any good, so therefore they don't do anything, especially the people with the power. You know, Jesus said a great thing that I like, that, you know, that I would never have liked if I had just been a normal Christian, I think. But I, I, and I don't think most of them do like it, actually. They, they don't really want to listen to it. And he said, the meek shall inherit the earth. And the, I, don't, I didn't understand that. I probably don't still, but I think I have a little hint about it nowadays, which is that that means that the people who are really up against it and who are day to day, you know, they cannot afford to be too despaired and freaked out because they have to get a meal. They have to go straight ahead. They have to protect their children. So they're going to keep being normal in a certain way, try to, you know, make life viable. They're going to do that. But people who get in this sort of level of insulated from things, you know, and who think they're powerful because they have money or they have some sort of status or something, then they get more and more feeling of weak and freaked out and desperate, hiding in their high security house and compound and watching TV, all the bad news and maybe buying some gimmicks to amuse themselves and having like an extra trophy wife or something and getting divorced and having their kids freak out and getting more and more isolated actually, you know, insulating themselves against the contact with other beings and with reality through that fake power that they think is power and feeling weaker and weaker. So they actually feel that nothing can be done. It's become, and it becomes an excuse that they don't do anything. You follow me? Yeah. Whereas, you know, people could easily live more green. You know, we know what stops the population explosion. It is the education of women and some modicum of wealth. It, it's poverty that creates poverty and like insanity of violence that creates population. Baby boomers all came from the big war, you know. So when people go crazy and lose control of themselves, then they start having children that they can't take care of, you know, in countries where they're desperate. And the poorest places is where the population explodes, you know. So we know that. So, we, you know, we say, oh, let's invent a pill. Let's get a, let's do this. Let's go have vasectomies. That won't work. What works is educate the women. Look at the ideologies that says they shouldn't be educated and start critiquing those and help those people critique them from their own sources, you know. And... Uh, Pollution, we know that means don't pour your crap in the river, General Electric, you know, and it will clean it up if you did. You know, we know that too. And we just have to do it. And war, oh, we really don't have to do war. That's, we really don't have to be frightened by governments and by warmongers in governments that we need war because it's very obvious, if anybody thinks for a minute, that war is not working. It hasn't been working for 50 years. It simply doesn't work. Reacting with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do daily. I talk with people in whatever way I can and to try to like get them to be more self-critical, especially about their self-defeating and self-limiting, putting themselves down. We can't do anything. It's all hopeless. Nothing to be done. You pass the bottle, you know, pass the cigarette, whatever it is. Now I can't fix anything, you know. I'm not going to vote. Nobody will do anything different. Nothing will change. You know, I, I talk to people that, and I try to help them be more critical about that. That is what I mainly do. That's what a teacher is supposed to do. You know?